Hello, in this video we will understand about the development of rock, the life cycle of rock. So we will also understand about the embryological aspects. So the frog lay their egg in water in early spring in pseudo copulation. So are mating. The male frog firmly collapses the body of the female frog by his four legs and enlarged thumb pads. So basically the frog living in the water as well as in the uh, terrestrial environment because water basically their uh, skin will be uh, uh, used for the respiration also but also lungs as well as in the water directly diffuse after the gill diffusion during the uh, adult stage. So let's begin to understand this is the frog. Red color is the male and the black color is the female. Female lay egg in the water and sperm will be spray and the fertilization external and occur at once in water outside the body of the oviparous female. The mesolacethal egg of frog enclosed in a protective gelatinous albumen are laid in water. Stick together is called spawning. So this is the egg jelly egg and jelly and this is known as the spawning of uh, frog female so in this way after the uh, spray of the sperm through a co pseudo copulation the fertilization will occur with the union of the sperm and the uh, with the egg so one sperm required for the one egg haploid to haploid to diploid and in this way after fertilization the pro nuclei is present and the meiosis second will be again produce and in this with the pronuclei of the female and male so amphi mixes mean the basically mix of the uh, zygote in this form at 1.6 uh, mi uh, micrometer is enlargement and that is basically is the is known as the amphi mixes and in this way the both nuclei will be mixed and to form here is the animal pole and vegetal pole and this is the polar nuclei are present in the egg but this is the fertilized to form a yolk half and gray crescent area and the vatty line membrane so remember that things so let's begin to understand the cleavage and morula formation so after the after the fertilization the zygote will go into the second first cleavage second for and in this way well, let's begin to understand this is the gray crescent this gray crescent is very important for the normal development according to the spearman experiment so in this way here you can see the two cell will be formed and the four cells are go the second uh, cleavage lead to third cleavage will lead to eight cell stage and ultimately morula formation 32 cell stage so in this way, this is the cleavage and morula formation, the morulation. After the morula, which that will create the cavity is known as the blastocele cavity, which that will be filled in the uh, fluid. And in this way, the blastula in the early stage will arise the blastocele cavity within the blastula. After the blastula in middle time in the yolk cell will be developed here you can see already are present but it is just for your understanding so the blastocele looking like in the diagram you can understand as well. So after this formation the basically the ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm formation in the early age for the gastrulation. So the morula to gastrulation we are understanding in this diagram. So this is the animal pole and vegetal pole and in this way you can understand this is the orange color is the uh, endoderm while the blue color is the ectoderm and the mesoderm is the yellow color here I am drawing the ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm is denoted by the color. So in this way the blastocele I am denoting with the green color here uh, the light green color and this is the marginal zone of the mesoderm and this is the yolk uh, yolk uh, vegetal cell so remember this is the movement of the ectoderm around the uh, embryo so in this way the gastrulation will occur is the early stage 
let's begin to understand the late stage in this way the dorsal lip and the blastopore will be formed in this way the blastopore means the ectoderm will be invaginate through a bottle cell in will in this way the amoeboid movement will occur and the ectoderm will move inside will lead to endoderm formation and this endoderm is the orange color i am donating this and in this way the basically is the movement and this is the mesoderm in the yellowish color and the blastocele cavity are present in the green color so anyhow after the further this is the middle stage the early gastrula will lead to late gastrula in the stage 2 in this way the archintron will be formed due to the bottle cell formation and the invagination of the ectoderm move inside will lead to endoderm formation and the orange color is shows that the endoderm while the yellow color shows the mesoderm and blue color shows the ectoderm formation in the late in embryo lead to individual which that will lead to form skin or for example for ectoderm and mesoderm is the muscles and nerve uh, and other things like nervous system but the digestive system arise from the endoderm endoderm and uh, the digestive system as well as heart and blood vessel blood circulatory system for example etc etc so this is the blastocele formation archintron will be increased and the yolk plug will be uh, form and in this way the not more further uh, invagination in this way lead to go the gastrula the ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm formation is known as the gastrula while the neurula mean the neurulation will be occurring the step 4 so the neurulation mean the nervous system will be developed after the gastrulation this is the three stage let's begin to understand the initial neural neurulation stage the notochord form uh, notochord from mesoderm cell after the gastrulation complete so in this way here is a mesoderm the ectoderm and endoderm in this diagram you can understand so the invagination of the neural groove formation from the ectoderm and in this way the neural plate and the form and ecto meso and notochord in this diagram you can understand as well and in this way the invagination the neural plate will be invaginate in this way the combination of the ectoderm will again arise but the invagination will lead to cause the uh, uh, new uh, neural tube formation while on the other hand the notochord is already present which that arise from the mesoderm and in this way the mesoderm will lead to form a uh, somite precursor of somite so this is the invagination and in this way looking look like this in the diagram to understand endoderm mesoderm and ectoderm so the invagination will lead to combine together the ectoderm again and the neural tube formation will occur this neural tube formation due to the infolding of the ectoderm and detach the ectoderm uh, will combine together and to form a neural tube so the sig a signals from notochord cause inward folding of ectoderm at the neural plate anyhow the ends of neurulation the neural plate fuse to form an uh, autonomous neural tube so in this is the autonomous neural tube formation and this is look like this this is the somite formation and the spinal ganglion will be occur which that is come from the uh, ectoderm is due to the neurulation and the neural tube formation so in this diagram we have discussed with the overview not more detail if you want to get detail so i have already videos about the uh, embryology so you can learn from that to understand more better so anyhow the step five is the different stage of the tadpole this tadpole a b c and d stage in this way the uh, it can be movable into the water so the mobility and this is the anus and myotome formation the muscle precursor and the optic bulge nasal pit gills and the pronephric bulge which that is a rise in the stage a of the tadpole and in this way the tadpole is able to move and swim and contain gills for respiration and in this way the lungs is not developed here and in this is the anus formation and this heart formation and eye formation and the nasal pit cornea so 
Now step C is basically the nasal pit and mouth will be developed and gills will be further developed and the upper coulomb and limb part will be arise. While on the other hand, the st step D is the stage D is the remnant of over a sucker will be formed and mouth in a limb bud. Limb bud will be arise in the stage D. So in summary, if we will discuss, remember this uh, spermatogenesis and the oogenesis will external fertilization will lead to produce larva in the form of tadpole precursor will lead to tadpole organogenesis. In this way, the tadpole organogenesis will lead to transformation of adult nearly complete will lead to adult three years old will lead to again fertilization uh, in the terrestrial environment will lead to uh, fertilize in the water so the water and terrestrial environment both are favorable for frogs so that is why frog frog is most adaptive animal uh, in, in in the water as well as in the terrestrial environment because contain lungs and skin for the respiration and limbs bones etc and used for the fertilization in the water so the external fertilization so i hope you make sense about this video the development of frog and life cycle please make sure to subscribe like and share if you like this video and also comment below for understanding better and next video we will understand about the whole uh, embryological aspect if i can make a video so thanks for watching